Hey, -o! hello, everybody. Welcome, everyone, to Fools and Flagons. My name is Zeke. I'll be your DM for the evening. Uh, as we roll dice, and I try to make sense of what these knuckleheads down here below tried to. I don't know. Fuck with the world. Um. Announcement wise, let's see here. If I can pull a dish up. Uh, so, we live stream our D&D campaigns every Friday on Twitch, alternating between Tales of Archeron, which uh, Ian uh, DMs, and Storm King's Chaos, which is uh, my little thing, uh, using Storm King's Thunder and kind of messing with it a little bit. Uh, both are available to watch again on our YouTube channel or listen to in podcast form on most major platforms a week later. On top of D uh, streaming D&D &D on Fridays, we also stream a variety of games during the week with Pez Plays and on the weekends with Metallurgy Magic. Metal, are we doing that tomorrow? No, I'm working. Oh. Uh, okay. Damn. Same. <laughs> If you like what we do and would like to support us, consider donating to our coffee page, or as I like to call it, the Ko-Fi page, because K-O-F-I. As uh, I like to call it, the Kafefe. Kafefe. The links can be found below in the doobly-doo, uh, as can every other link. Um, donations are never required, but always appreciated. Moving on. Uh... All proceeds from donations and memberships go straight back into making Fools and Flagons an even better experience, and it helps keep the podcast alive and well. We want to thank you for your follows, subscriptions, and bits on Twitch. We do apologize, though, because we cannot recognize them on stream for the sake of not interrupting the story, but your support of us is always appreciated. And let's be honest, some of the Yahoo players will be responding to you in chat anyways. Um, thank you for the 10,000 downloads on podcast stuff. Woo! 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 Other than that, does anyone have anything else? 10,000 downloads. Woo! Woo! Uh, all right. So, I think that's about everything. Um, oh, I, w I will mention, if you want to get in on the shenanigans and play video games with us, uh, you can join our Discord. Once again, link's down in the doobly-doo. But if no one else has anything, then I shall say, grab your drinks and... Raise your flagons, because it's time for Fools of Flagons. Well, it's time to cut Ian a break today. <laughs> uh oh, I got a, I got a message from one of our players. What did it say? Good to know. Uh, okay. So, with all of that being said, we rejoin our dumbass heroes. Um, Damn. Yeah, what the fuck did we do last time? I think we just fought so, the go around. Uh, pretty much. <laughs> Last session, our adventurers fought the knives, or should I say arrows, in the dark, fighting often unseen enemies in a warehouse meant to trap them. They realized at some point they were also battling a mage who specialized in illusions and psychic attacks. Rune and Olmec were rendered unconscious in the fight. However, their comrades slowly picked off about half of the assailants, and Rune was saved from near abduction. That was the half? Okay. <laughs> Seeing the tide turn and realizing enough noise had been made to attract the guards, the enemies still standing made their escape. As the party licked their wounds, they attempted to extract information from Ruin, but only got scraps. Deciding they needed to rest before they struck out on the road, the party rested another night in the inn, and as they found sleep, Ruin found himself visited in his dreams by the very mage who attempted to kidnap him. Picking up there, um, discussed with Ruin beforehand, I would like everyone, um, to either deafen or headphones off, uh, while we finish out, uh, this conversation. Okay! Uh, so Ruin, figure hmm. across from you, in a training room that often left you dazed and beaten and bloody after hours of training stands across from you in this room a very familiar face that you are not happy to see well that was a little embarrassing to be honest 
on both our parts. Mm-hmm. Oh, come on. You're not that mad, are you? Might be a little mad. Well, that's a little bit too bad. You're the one who ran off. You're the one who followed. Oh, I didn't do any of the following. You just happened to land in my city, and... You know me, I'm always an opportunist. Mm-hmm. Your father's in a right tizzy. And isn't he? When most of the time, you know, before you left and things were going smoothly, and before the giants started messing around, but that's a whole different subject. True. So, word is you are off on your little adventure to find some... a circle of your own. Although I'm a little surprised you didn't stick with those... Uh, I guess you could say friends back where you were stationed. You know me. Oof, you are shut tight. They're working. Well, I will say, I wonder what, um... wonder what uh, Erendor and Thorn would think, seeing as they've been replaced. Not replaced. They're working. Mm -hmm. Is there a reason you're showing up in my dreams now? Oh, well, I thought I'd uh, stop by. It's been a while. Want some tea or coffee while you sit down and Continue to torment me? Oh, don't worry. We're not following. That, uh... That was quite the experience. I will say, the uh, the one that can get a lot bigger. Very interesting find. I don't know how to pick them. Hmm, I bet you do. So tell me, are the rumors true? Are you really looking to do a coup, or...? Why? What is this? Why would I tell you? You just tried to kidnap me. Under orders, I'm afraid. But... From my father? Yes. He expects you to take over the business. Oh, I'll take over. No problem. So it is a coup. Interesting. That's what he thinks. I'll, of course, be reporting everything and hoping I don't lose my head, but I take precautions. No hard feelings if you do. Ow. I'm just getting off of my back. <laughs> uh, you always did hate me. Well, we're not fucking, so we're fighting. Fair point. Well, I will say, again opportunists, so if you were to perhaps make things a little interesting, you might be able to be swayed. Hey, me or you? I mean, if you were to I don't know. pay me, or promise me a position, or many other things I could feed you information, feed him false information. Mm-hmm. What in God's name? In any of their names? Makes you think that I would ever trust you. I'm not asking you to trust me, I'm asking you to make a deal. Yeah, my money's good, but your word is not. Well, I will say we caught up to one of your little friends. Which one? 
what was it? The little um, lizard folk girl, yes? The one who mm -hmm. kind of looks like a crocodile. No idea what they did with her. Nothing if you want to keep your head. Oh, that's not up to me. That's up to your father. And if you want to live past this, better hope that she's alive. Oh. I will say, you're a lot harder to get under the skin than you used to be, so kudos on that. <laughs> I have you to thank for that. I live to serve the young master, he says mm. with as much sarcasm as, as you can as you can probably muster. <laughs> Does my dream self have like a knife on him? Um you look no weapons. No it weapons. seems that he is in total control of the dream. Hmm. Okay. It's awful. <laughs> well I look forward to seeing what happens. Might have to throw in with the Kraken Society at this rate. But, till next time, and you wake up, it's dawn, and let's get everyone else back in. these snoring noises we good now all right everyone okay. wakes up well rested fully recovered already had wet dreams <laughs> <laughs> they hydrated people oh my god <laughs> i think you've been literal wet dreams not figurative <laughs> wet dreams either way that deserved a bonk <laughs> so, the morning is yours. What would you like to do? Oh, uh, get a big stretch. Uh, Wait, who was I sleeping with? I think I crawled around my head. Did I experience any weirdness? No. You had a good rest. I don't know, you guys are doing some mumbo-jumbo in the middle of the night. I don't know if you were talking in your sleep or anything. You know, keep me okay. awake at night. Make a perception check at uh, disadvantage. That's the douche. Holy shit! Um, that's gonna be a 19. Um... Ruin? <laughs> at... I'll leave this up to you. Have, would you have been known to talk in your sleep at all? That one, probably, yes. Okay. So I will say you probably didn't have as restful as a sleep you were hoping for, as there was a little tossing and turning, and a uh, little mumbling. And what was the total again? 19. 19? You're pretty sure you heard something mumbled about... Um, I believe the word she used was uh, she better not be harmed if you want to keep your head. Riding furiously. <laughs> Vigorously. Clip it! <laughs> keep your head. Okay. Um, rune dream talky I can't spell <laughs> Tina couldn't either what's that made? <laughs> <laughs> just slippery <laughs> thoughts fuck you bitch <laughs> you don't know me you don't even talk to me <laughs> oh by the way shut up go bed <laughs> you just like <laughs> smacked my forehead <laughs> if you keep him up long enough yeah just shut up <laughs> Surprisingly, paw just. <laughs> yeah, it's just gonna be just a tiny little V8 slash. Surprisingly, when you do that, 
usually, uh, like, you know, usually when you poke someone in their sleep, they react somehow. There is no reaction. It was like that guy with the mustard getting don't, poured on him in his sleep. Don't even think about it. Halt, please. <laughs> <laughs> I cast should have had a V8. Oh, yes. <laughs> Are you bongo catting him? Oh, no, I'm going to mark on your face with my charcoal. No. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> well. Just got to make a couple little alterations to Rune's face. Don't mind me. Okay. What color is Rune's skin? I forget. Um, it's like, like a nice deep gray. Like that steel. Deep gray. Oh, shit. Steel blue gray. Shit, Gun it won't, metal. It won't show up. might not appear too much, yeah. I'll just have to color it in nice and hard. <laughs> <laughs> it appears more red than anything. It, it's it's going to be a, a very classical curly mustache and a monocle. <laughs> Peanut wood. If only oh, these yeah. shitty ends had mirrors. <laughs> if only. Jiggly puffed. I've uh, been jiggly puffed. <laughs> <laughs> Episode title. I'm so mad. <laughs> oh, Ian, I know you've been... Uh, Busy do, uh, preparing other stuff. Can we have some ambient music? Oh, it's been playing. Oh, it's been playing? Oh, okay. I might have to revamp um, mine. DM, can you uh, turn on the music on your end? No. No. <laughs> yeah, let me, uh, let me just hit stop and start it over. Appreciate it. I was. That's what I was vibing to the entire t <laughs> Twitch intro. Oh, oh. I, I realized like right after I hit deaf and it's like, oh, wait, the stream can't hear. I'm going to have to take my headphones off. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. We got the music. We got the boogie. Appreciate it. Um, but yeah. What would you all like to do? Eridol, uh, actually, uh, if as, as those who are congregating in the main area, uh, Actually, so who who thinks they would come down first? Let's start there. Probably Siren okay. and Olmec. I'd probably so sleep in are... a little bit since Dig has kept me awake. Odie wakes up and just fucking runs outside. Where's the bathroom? Uh, as you run outside, uh, Eridol, where were you sleeping again? With Siren outside. and Olmec. Really just against the building. Yeah, you you run past Eridol just <laughs> against the side of the building. <laughs> Yeah, that wakes me the hell up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you kind of startle awake. Uh... Mm. Ruin, mm. what are you doing? As we are starting this whenever you technically Taking awaken. Notes. Making notes. Taking notes. Do okay. I remember that dream? Uh, I, I w wake it up. You definitely Hopefully remember the dream. Had two. Well, I mean. <laughs> Good note taking. <laughs> I'm writing our adventure novel, dude. So <laughs> trying to remember. Um. Meanwhile, I have a monocle <clears throat> mustache. Odie wet himself, and I got jiggly <laughs> puffed. Those are my notes right now. <laughs> um, I'm waking up kind of like mid morning, not too early, not like closer to noon. I'd say like a good hearty nine nine thirty ten o'clock. Uh, uh, okay. Not feeling rested whatsoever. Olmec is just like vibing like the cat in spoilers, campaign spoilers. By that time, Odie is probably just drinking in the. Is the, I forget, does this tavern have drinks or is it a shithole? It has drinks, they're just not great. I'll drink no shit, all. shit stuff. Okay. Just yeah, it's water. alcohol. I'm drinking milk. I really want to. I really want to really make a comment and say that it's akin to a beer that I really don't like, but I don't want to insult anyone who might like that beer. Oh, personal words hurt you. 
Peanut will probably wake up partway through Rude writing down her note, his notes. Sorry. Um, yeah. It's kind of like a like that liquid body where you just sort of like blah, 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 put onto the floor. <laughs> kind of like a ferret going out of their little yeah. the hanging thing. Yeah, just just <laughs> off the bed with a little like a, a head first thunk and then thunk as the recipe falls over. Yeah, Rune will get up and walk downstairs. None the wiser. <laughs> Siren's gonna look at Rune and be like, "Do you, do you want a wet rag?" Don't ask Odie for one. <laughs> God damn it. I... I guess? You you got a little something something on your face. Like a lot of something. Yeah, Just you kind of rub, hey. rub around your face at various spots and your fingers come back a little darker than they should be. Immediately glares... Add peanut. Peanut's just kind of like, uh. Oh, uh, good morning. I didn't. This shit tastes terrible. Wipes it on him. Simba. <laughs> Simba. <laughs> I don't yeah, know. It's not what my mom used to do to me. I can help you clean your face to make sure you get all of it if you want. Please. Can't her. Okay, yeah, let me just... <laughs> you just a little bit of the decanter and just just gently wiping off Rune's face. I it's like a toddler when their mom is trying to the clean their setting. face just the face scrunch. Guys! <laughs> 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 I'm gonna sit down and how? <laughs> Not happy. We need right. to get out of this shithole. I, I forget where we're going after this. I but we need better drinks. We need to go to Zad Thrall's keep, which is to the east. Way to the east. Going, going to Mirabar first would probably be better. Uh, why? Well, didn't we have to go to Mirabar to get? To Xanthal's keep? Oh, I mean, that's the end goal, is that. Well, not the end goal, it's like the midway point for what we're trying to do. <laughs> I mean, we, we gotta get to Mirabar to then go down to Xanthal's keep, it, but. No one Ooh. gives a fuck about Mirabar. <laughs> Where was the access to the uh, teleportation network? Well, that was all the way fucking down to Waterdeep. Oh, no. No, 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 that was the ship. Um, we gotta go to Everland to get the TP circle, but that's, that's kind of on the way to Zathral's Keep and all that nonsense. Is it towards it? I thought it was the other direction, no, but it made it easier I think, roundabout I think it's way. It. Like, you get Mirabar, as Iris said, works for hire. Down to Zathral's Keep, works for hire. Uh, then we keep on going east, and that's how we get the really cool weapon that I really want so badly, and then also Everland's kind of in that direction. This map fucking sucks. It's very right. so you, you, you guys have a map of, like, kind of the nor the very <laughs> northern part of the Sword Coast. Yep. Uh, it doesn't go far much farther beyond, I think, Xanatharl's Keep. I think it's the part I gave you. Yep. It does not show Everlund. It does not show Waterdeep or any of that stuff. Oh, right. well, would Peanut know roughly where they are. Yeah, you would know like Waterdeep's way, like <laughs> way the fuck the road. You yeah. Uh, so the high road is the road that connects the entire coast, which Luskin is the start of. So you would know you would go all the way down the coast. Um, and you also yeah, you know that Everlund is like on the other side of uh, a really big moor uh like a swampland or, or a marsh um and you know that's way east yeah so we go to zathal's keep and we keep on going get the stuff along the way really cool weapon that i want really bad is for killing giants i want to kill a giant and then uh, <laughs> Me too. i already we... did you did i think i did too i want to kill another one anyway we gotta go wrestled east. that bitch hello 
Show them peps. Oh. <laughs> they just look a little noodly, right? I mean, he's still kind of buff, <laughs> but just not quite as Lord Rage buff. Not I shredded. <laughs> well, I guess we go up towards Mirabard and take a take a right turn towards Xanthor's Keep. Shall we? We shall. All back, how about you? I pay my drinks. If there's any <laughs> charge to be had, and then I go outside. Just, just, what about me? You ready to go? Yes. The music is soothing. I mean... Hey, hey, Rude. Mm. You're, like, super sneaky, right? I can be. Would you rather... Oh, gosh. Walk all the way to Mirabar. Or steal that dude's loot. You look over the corner, there's just like a... Almost like the definition of a vagabond. Long, scraggly beard, long, graying hair, like salt and pepper throughout the beard and hair. His cloak doesn't look like it's uh, seen any good days. <laughs> And just kind of sitting there with like, it almost like, have you ever seen those guitars that uh, have like the chips taken out of them? Because whoever, uh, like whatever country star or whatever used them has only used that guitar for like 50 years and it just has pieces missing. That's what it looks like. Walk or steal? Is that your question? Yeah, look, it's early. I'll think of a better one later. I mean, I'd rather steal, but I'm not going to. Well, Are you sure about that? That's so fun. Can we not start any fights, please? But if we're <laughs> leaving. <laughs> she wants to steal yeah, the hobo's we. fucking money. I, get the cart. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I think I got my back cart somewhere in here. I can play you a little ditty on the way down. Mm, we're all set. You sure? Let's play ditty. Okay, fine. Full of the Babados. What's that mean? I don't know. I said it one day when I was sneezing, and it just sounded good. <laughs> yeah, I didn't believe yeah, it. Yeah, the Babados. <laughs> let's go. All right. Let's get to it. So you all, you all head outside <laughs> to find the wagon and the horses. And they're there. Both of the horses were there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Are the horses also vibe into the music? Um, Working on a Monday, wagons. Bruno, no. <laughs> uh, you head out. Gates wide open this time. It's it's the uh, middle of the morning. Um, and you start making your way eastward to Mirabar. Can I have... I think Issa rolled it last time. Can I have someone roll a d12? Oh, shit. Uh, 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 uh. Six. Six. Okay. Um, travel along, uh, looking at your map. Uh, someone make a survival check for me. Not uh, this guy. Got you. Oh, no, died. Not. <laughs> that did pretty good. I'll let the cat take it. <laughs> 19. 19. Looking at the map, you know roughly it's going to take the better part of four days to get there. Um, the first day passes without much uh, in the way of anything happening. Second day passes about the same. Um... Is there anything anyone would like to do during their travel? Oh, yes. <clears throat> hey, uh, hey, Olbeck. What? Would you rather... <laughs> no. Lose <laughs> all of your it. teeth or all of your hair? I look good bald. Smooth. Yeah. <laughs> look good bald? Yeah. <laughs> I can't confirm. There was an accident once. 
we would oh, not. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. <laughs> you can't drop that kind of bomb. It just glazes over. Siren, sorry time. You're the bard. Come on, entertain us. I think it was about the first week that I started there. There was a small pyrotechnic accident, and Olmec was a little too close to where they were practicing, and just poof. Just poof. Bald Olmec for a couple months. That is wonderful. <laughs> is that Aerodol's backstory? There where he came in. He's not answering you. He's just sitting on the Fire back of the ball. cart. <laughs> <laughs> He ain't looking at anybody. He is really staring off the back of the cart. As the cart moves, Odie's just kind of holding Air Bear. He's just like, "You haven't done me much." And <laughs> he just rips out the blue sapphire, puts it in his pocket. All right. So that saves me an infusion slot. I don't know if you heard me. Uh, but he, right as you go, uh, he, you say, you haven't done me much, and he goes, and, and you rip him in <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was unnecessarily brutal. He's a mechanical construct. He don't have emotions. I don't know. I see pretty starky at the end there. He's talking bad shit. I taught him well. Good riddance. Uh, <laughs> I was not expecting you to do that. I was about to reveal a voice for him. <laughs> <laughs> How to shut down the DM <laughs> before emotional attachment can develop. <laughs> I've been emotionally scarred. Uh, okay. Uh, then I'll use the. I guess I'll use the spare infusion slot to. I don't know. Enchant this fucking thing, and I'll infuse my hand axe with the radiant weapon. All right. Where are we going again? Towards Mirabar. And then we're making a rat turn once we get there towards Xanthar's Keep. Okay. We get a left turn at Albuquerque. Then we get to it's go right turn. through the forest. It's gonna be a good time. I forget. Oh, yeah. God, we do cut through the forest after the Xanthar's. A little bit. Yeah. To the milk grandmother's house. Oh, and off roading. We don't talk about grandma. <laughs> you have some bad history with your grandma. Uh, depends on which grandma you're talking. Uh -oh. <laughs> uh oh. Oh. I fucked up. Oh. What? Trying to fix uh -oh. it. I was trying to be uh -oh. nice and have a. Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> trying to have a nice travel background, but it feels small. Okay. <laughs> ah! <laughs> um. So. Anything else anyone would like to do? Murder. What? What, a bug? A bird? A, mur a murder of crows bird. goes by. I mean, he could go and hunt for us out <clears throat> here. No. 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 Meow. <laughs> so. Towards, um, <clears throat> the end of the third day. You all uh, start to see pillars of smoke on the horizon. Ah, uh, this shit again. It's too close to be Mirabar. You know you're at least another day's ride away from there, and it's closer than that. And it's not, it's not a huge amount. It's not black <clears throat> smoke. It's just white uh, clouds of smoke rising somewhere just off the road. Let's compare it to the Viking pyre ship that we had with the giants. So, yay big, this big, this big. It's bigger, more, smaller. More like a couple of like large bonfires, maybe. Like a campsite? It's too big for a campsite. Those are some smoked flames. I would assume. It'd be a big camp. Might be a small hamlet. <laughs> True. Nah. Traveling circus. Bet. No, there's not <laughs> enough light. <clears throat> well, why am I making a bet about a circus? We got two of them with us. I'm pretty sure they, they went out of business for a little bit. Yep. There's more than one. There's got to be more than one circus. Not one worth going to. Aww. 
All right, you schmoozer. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't care about... I, I didn't say the other one was worth going to either. The oh. only two attractive parts of it were these two fuckers, and we And the schmoozing's back. <laughs> uh. <laughs> He's just trying to stay on my good side, so I actually heal him when he needs it. Amen. That's my working give, theory. Give a little, Amen. little healing, a little healing damage, a little, little bit of healing <laughs> damage. You will never live this down for as long as you nope, live. Nope. Every session, every session. Yep. Um. So, are you gonna keep traveling along along the road and um intersect with uh whatever the source of the smoke is, or what are you doing? I mean. Who we got that's sneaky? Rude, you're sneaky. You want to scout ahead, or we, what? You just want to plow on through? You wrote on my face. Why should I help you? You kept me up all night. I didn't keep you up all night. You did. I'll be honest, this is kind of helping yourself. This is the first time Eridol's talked since we've left, and you almost killed us all. Well, it's going to immediately go quiet again. I mean, to be fair, Rude <laughs> was one of the ways guys. that went down. So. And to be perfectly honest, I've got into plenty of scraps where I should have been dead, so that's no biggie for me. DM, what do my tiefling eyes see? Um, If y'all are continuing forward, uh, as you start to crest another hill, uh, make a perception check. Yeah. Perception. 19. 19. Uh, you see off in the distance the source of the smoke are a about uh, maybe 10 bonfires of some sort uh, to one side of the road. Kind of, they were made so that they wouldn't be blocking the road. They're kind of just to the side of it. Not too close to where it would uh, impede any travel, but not far enough away uh, that it's not, like, right there. Um, on the opposite side of the road, you see a, a lot of large, um, giant-sized, unmoving bodies. Well, what does thy tiefling eyes see? Would we Giants? be seeing this too? Um, are we? As you this... start to get closer, you start to make out some details. Yeah. Is it their giants? Uh, it looks like um, a giant figure of some sort. So you can't really tell what species at until uh, you get closer. Dead. It's big. Probably not dead. I mean, I'm ready for it, ready to go. Let's do this. <clears throat> oh, I really don't want to fight. Do I have uh, like just super sniffer? Past and say hey ya. I don't. If we say hey ya, I don't want to spook the horses. I'm sorry. But if we just go, what are the odds that it catches up? If I mean, it's gonna, even up. They're going to hear us from a mile away. Olmec, you were about to say something. I was just wondering if I had like a super sniffer to where I could sniff out like decay if it's dead. Um, because cat. Yeah, go ahead and make a perception check of smell uh, <clears throat> to see if you can catch anything on the wind. Can you snarf? I will say because of the smoke, it, uh, it'll... I'll make the DC higher. I won't give you disadvantage. 19 plus 5, 24. Oh, Jesus. Even Super with death. all the smoke, you definitely smell not uh, decay yet, but you do think you're picking up the hint of blood and you being a bit more perceptive than the others are, are noticing that in the trees nearby, uh, there are ravens and crows uh, swooping back and forth between the larger bodies in the trees. It is dead. Well, 
Uh, so we keep trucking then. Um, Ian, could you give us some more, uh, something melancholy? Well, I... Morose. So, y'all are, <laughs> you all are, um, deciding to move forward along the road? Yeah. Right. Okay. I'm gonna keep my bow drawn. Okay. Just in case. As you get closer, um... In this section of the road, it must have uh, had at least a little bit of a sprinkling because it's a lot of it's a it's a bit muddier, um, and you notice seems there were some signs of a struggle. Uh, you also notice that the what you thought were bonfires are actually uh, funeral pyres, ten of them. Um, Uh, on the opposite side of the road, the northern side of the road uh, is just giant bodies who kind of, um, if someone wants to make a either a survival or perception check to kind of scope out what you can tell about what might have happened here. I'll make a survival check. Huh? I don't I see it. I got a. I got a twenty-one. I got a sixteen. Yes. Yeah, okay. 19. Um, so anyone who rolled above a 15, um, you see that it looks like the some sort of scuffle took place here um, that just happened to intersect right on the road. Um, you can see dirt and uh, is like torn up in places where the fighting was happening. Um, definite gashes in the ground where a giant's blade might have come down. You And you look a little closer, and these are uh, fire giants. Um, they're kind of like bluish, uh, des uh, bluish gray skin, uh, bright red hair. Um, sorry, you were, you were asking something, Erdal? Do I see anything shiny? Uh, you would have to do an investigation check for that. Um, but you also notice um, that it looks like some of the giants uh, and even so whoever the funeral pyres are were probably killed on the main road because you see drag marks, especially large ones for the giants that whoever survived was in a weird way courteous enough to drag the bodies off the road so that it wouldn't impede travel, but to just still left the bodies there. I mean, that had to be some big salt bitch to be able to pull these dudes. Uh, a lot and... of them. Or that. Or many. Issa. I'm mean, sorry. Um, Siren. Siren. Thank you. Sorry. A bad habit. Uh, Siren, with a 21, you were the only one who notices that in the mud... There is a set of footprints leaving the battle site, but they are giant sized. Which way are the footprints going? Uh, they're going towards the east. So the direction that we're going? Uh, yes, but they're kind of going a southeast, so away from the road. Okay. Into, uh, if you look at your map, into the set of hills uh, known as the crags. Let's just keep on trucking along. We should the be part of the to the road. Um. Trying to think here. If anyone. You no, know nope, never mind. Um, but yeah, you guys just decide to keep trucking? Well, I think so. If no one else wants to fight, then we better just keep on moving on. I rolled a 17 yeah. for investigation. <laughs> oh, investigation. Um, it looks like these corpses have already been picked over. Well... Or just sits back the fuck down after standing up to look. Whoever did this was meticulous enough to, you know, clear off the tracks. Probably. 
I was thinking some city officials or some guard or some mercenaries dispatched to take care of the road, but... Well, there is a giant set of tracks going southeast towards that way, which just points. Um, I did forget to point out, the pyres are uh, normal humanoid size. One toe at a time. And well, I will also say with a 21, <clears throat> uh, Siren notices there seems to be some sort of um, totem iconography in front of each one. Sounds to me like it's not our problem. We'll let people at Mirabar know and we can just carry on. I get paid enough to investigate this one. <laughs> you got paid at all? No. Oh, exactly. You guys are getting okay. paid. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Siren. Would you yeah. rather? Oh gosh. Be less prone to taking damage. Be resistant to a certain type of damage. Or be better with your spell attacks. Hypothetical. Are you stealing my thunder? That is my no, thing. I'm asking a fucking question, you dip. Did you copyright fucking asking questions? What's up, Siren? <laughs> Not taking as much damage would be nice because it hurts. What do you think you're m most likely to get bonked by? What type of damage? The kind that hurts. Acid, yeah. cold, fire, force, lightning. Well, fire already doesn't bother me. That rules that out. Chill off. Uh... <laughs> Surprise me? If Surprise you? But you scared me, you <laughs> dick! <laughs> I thought you were a giant. I was about to punt you. You can't punt a giant. I can try. A peanut. I, it's the, look, a giant this size. I don't think that word means what you think it means. <laughs> I give a little boop to Siren and uh, infuse her armor with resistant armor, taking the enhanced defense off of my own and make her resistant to acid damage. Okay. Oh. Well, that's pretty neat. Thank you. You're welcome. So. Uh, leaving behind a grisly and mysterious scene. You all continue to make your way towards Mirabar. Uh, Ian, if you want to change the music back, please and thank you. Ah, uh, so needy. Yep. <laughs> you reach um, as you crest the hill on the fourth on the fourth evening. You do see off in the distance, kind of sitting at the foot, uh, between the foot of a mountain and the river that you've been winding beside a little bit. Um, this road goes in a way that the river kind of comes in and out of your sight. Sits a large city on a hill. Very tall, giant stone walls with battlements and watchtowers. And you can already see, since it's getting to be sunset, there are some fires lit on the wall. Um... You, you have arrived in sight of Mirabar. As you take uh, the rest of the evening to travel there, and it's now nighttime as you're uh, getting closer. Um, so, you arrive to tell you what, if there's guards that ask us for money, don't do that trick again. I'm not. I <laughs> learned my lesson. <laughs> I, like, I like having the horses and not having to kick people's asses and burn their shit down. Yes. To be fair, I think we had the horses the entire time. They were just invisible. 
They still took the cart. They did take the cart. Uh, it was bait. Why are you burping? You got beer? I had Have you been getting to buy beer? I had shitty fucking ale back at the tavern. Did you want that ale? No, I have my own. I'm just making sure you didn't get Quit into your bitch. it. It's been I did. four days. Unfortunately. That's yeah, how bad know, it was. Empty. That's how oh. terrible it was. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it was that bad. Days. It was four days ago. <laughs> <laughs> Acid reflux, a bitch. <laughs> I will say, um, you're lucky I'm here and not at Chits Creek. That was two days ago. Oh, no. <laughs> No paddle. No paddle. No, we're up <laughs> Shits Creek now. <laughs> we are technically um, heading up the river, so. <clears throat> As you approach the gates, uh, it is getting to the point where it looks like uh, guards are milling, are kind of not hurrying, but like walking with purpose to um, kind of finish up what they're doing so they can close the gates. Uh, you also notice that all the guards are dwarves. Uh, there does not seem to be a single humanoid among the guards. Before anyone notices me, I'm just going to hang off the back of the cart, kind of hidden, and then just turn into a dwarf. Okay. And pop back onto the cart. All right. That so um, confuses me every time. <laughs> what was? are you talking about? <laughs> what did you say, Siren? That so confuses me every time. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> It's me, Ernie! Sure. Yeah. Yeah, he does that. Um, you all arrive at the gates, and you notice that these walls are probably the thickest you've ever seen. At least... At least almost like a city, like, for our minds, like, almost a city block wide. Maybe a little bit more. They're thick. Thick with ten C's. Yeah. <laughs> um, they kind of they uh, kind of like look you over, and just wave you through. No one really stops you. They're they're busy, uh, and you don't seem like a threat. Well, hey, uh, bud. Hey, hey, real quick. Good place yeah, for what you want. Good place for beer, ale. Hmm? Uh, the chipped axe. Ooh. Thank you. Cheers, bud. Yeah, stay out of trouble. Don't yeah, make the axe come down on you. Ooh, I like that saying. What's that mean? It uh, reference to us. We're the axe of Mirabar. Oh. Is there a, is there a place you. where you get into a friendly little brawl? Little punchy punch? Uh, you'd have to go to the Undercity for that. Ah, maybe later. Thank you. Recommend it. I mean, if you like dwarves and we let you in and we like you. I know. Um, he goes back to whatever he was doing as you all travel through. Uh, you realize this is a fairly large city. Probably bigger than Luskin uh, and Bryn Shander. <laughs> Come on. Um, and just a lot better well kept. The streets are paved. Um, oh, look, the there's that shit houses. on the street. <laughs> what did you say? I said, oh, look, there's that shit on the street. Yeah. Um, the houses are very uniform. Um, not to the point where everything is a uh, carbon copy of each other, but, like, it's it's a nice grid uh, system. Uh, this pleases you my brain. Uh, you, you, as you're riding past, you see an entire, like, uh squad, I guess you could say, of these acts of Mirabar dwarves marching past, uh, keeping just an eye on the streets and making their presence felt. A beard of dwarves. Gotcha. <laughs> um, but strangely, as you as you kind of look about, the I'm city's busy. still lively. There are um, torches and lamps uh, that are lit to, so that people can see. Um, but as people are milling about in the evening times, going to their local tavern that they like, or going to a restaurant, or or closing up a shop for the evening and walking home, the only dwarves you see are the Axe. There doesn't seem to be um, any other dwarves uh, that you can see other than the guards, and it's a fair amount of humans, 
maybe a half elf or an elf or two. Uh, and you might, you think you might have seen a dragonborn in the distance. Are you telling me that I'm impersonating the guard right now? That you're what? Are you telling me that I'm guard? impersonating the guard right now? Uh, no, you, the guard is very distinguishable. They have very, um, very, uh, not ornate, uh, but it's Uniform. definitely a certain very style of plate armor. Uh, they're all in, they're all in plate. Uh, they all have a battle axe on their back. Um, it's very, it's, it's a weirdly uniform plate armor. Like, that is their uniform. I want to find somebody. A guard or whoever. You want to find? Yeah, just, no. like, hey, hey, you. Uh, walking past, you, you see, um, see an older gnome. Who uh, ah, yes, goggles on his eyes. goggles on his forehead, uh, locking up a shop. Uh, but he's he's kind of like doing this because the door is uh, is regular humanoid sized. Um, he ten giant. Hey, say uh, if I was looking to blow off a little bit of steam, been on the road for a few days. I was told the Undercity is the place to go. How do I get there? Ooh. Uh. I just want a little bit of a punch up for I'm not gonna get thrown in jail, you know. Um, well, the Undercity is not usually open to anyone but the dwarves. That's kind of their thing. I'm just a I... really, really hairy dwarf. Like, I'll just pipe over. up and say, hi. Right, and I'm a tiefling. Anyway. Hi. Yeah, we got two of those. <laughs> hi. <laughs> Come by my shop in the morning. I got lots of goods. What do you do? Okay. Anyway. What do you do? Uh, I got a general store, you know. Oh. Lovely. Traveling tools, uh, pretty much anything you need. What's your day, bud? In the market for anything? Uh, well, we gotta Potion. hit the road tomorrow for stuff. Po yeah, what she said, potions and stuff, so. What, what, what's your day? We'll come back in the morning. Jeebs! I'm just gonna take a stab at how you spell that. Jeebs Gaming. So you have to ask Jeebs. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Is this shop called the Search Engine? <laughs> so are you saying we gotta ask a dwarf to get down there um I, if I remember correctly the entrance is um it's actually near the garrison that's towards uh the west wall um so kind of back the way you came and a little bit up the street kind of toward the North corner, northwest corner of the city. Um, Got it. That's because honestly, the only dwarves who come up here are usually the axe or the council. <clears throat> Don't know who those are, but cool. Well, thank you, bud. Um, yeah, anything you need. Oh, you said you wait. You're traveling a lot. <clears throat> yes. Yeah. You got yeah. a good map. We have. Eh? Uh, hey, Odie, show up the piece of shit we got. I hold it upside down. I can do better than that. Yeah, Come back I'll, I'll get you, I'll get you all settled up. Cool. Yay. Oh, one last thing. Yeah. I find it kind of weird that the guard is called the Axe Mirror Bar, and then the tavern that they pointed us to is the Chipped Axe, which seems like a slight against the Axe of Mirror Bar. Oh, no, that's actually one of the few places that's still run by a dwarf in the upper city. Oh. I thought there was some hidden, deeper meaning there. Well, I mean, nah. if you think about it, if you like to fight a bunch and you use your axe, it's got to get chipped, which means that the people that go there know what the it's fuck well they're worn. doing. Yeah. Mm. It's not a bad thing. I don't think. I'm I shall leave you to your philosophical discussions. Goodbye! And Later. he walks away. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to look to everyone else in the cargo. I'm going to go find that place to fight. Anyone that wants to come with, awesome. Otherwise... I don't know. I guess I'll find you back here in the barn. I'm doing a little jumpy off the cart. Yeah, I'm just gonna. <laughs> I'm not used to being this short. I just kind of fucking just. <laughs> Can't <laughs> <trash it>. <laughs> <laughs> it's uncomfortable down here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tag along as well. Hey, make fun of the fact that we're short. Fuck you. Darren's gonna look to Olmec and Rune like. 
I'm shorter than you. Should Why we you follow? Look? We're gonna need Halen. Says you. I'm gonna kick everyone's ass. So they don't get in trouble. Yeah. Yes. Knowing us. Wow. Go punch some shit. No faith. No. You have a lisp there. No faith. No. Oh. I will break your Don't nose. Start, children. You wait never start with children. Buddy. You start with the adults first. Yeah. Hey, wait a minute. Why you booing me? I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> Flicks at both you, children. Gonna go try to find the Undercity. Okay. Yeah. Uh, if everyone else is tagging along, uh, you take the wagon kind of, like you said, back where you were coming from and then, uh, north to the northwestern <laughs> quadrant. Um, Garrison's not too difficult to find. Um, it's a fairly uniform building door. The, again, the only building dwarves coming in and out of, <laughs> uh, there's a few people stationed kind of like as the garrison guard, um, you walk up to them. Oh, it's your business. I'm gonna hop back off the cart and walk up to him. I was told that if I wanted to have a wee little bit of a punch up, that the Undercity is a place that I would go to try to get in and uh, blow off some steam. You'd be right about that if you were a dwarf. I'm just a really well, hairy I... dwarf. It's like all over, it's a condition. I'm just an actual dwarf. <laughs> make a just he's never seen anything like you, so I guess make a deception check at disadvantage. He's never seen a dwarf? Why a disadvantage? No, the anything like peanut. Oh. I mean, oh. Oh shit. <laughs> uh weirdly that's a one, not natural. <laughs> 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 he kinda just looks at you right. Um well, come on! No. I don't, I don't want like any money or anything. I just want to fight somebody and not get in trouble for it. Kind of, he kind of looks um, at Odie. You, what's your name? Rex. Where are you from? I'm from out towards. Uh, where was that place that we came from? I, realistically, Odie would remember it, but. Uh, Iron Master. Yeah, I'm up from towards Iron Master. Iron Master? Mm. You got a clan name? Nah, I'm more of a straggler. Uh, aren't you one of them Bright Helms or something like that? No. I know a few Bright Helms. Uh, maybe that's that wasn't me, that. though. Make a deception check. Uh, with Add advantage since Peanut helped you out. Fuck yeah. That'll be a 16. 16? This dice might be a dice. Curse the dice, curse the dice, roll low. Curse roll the dice, low. curse the dice. Mm -hmm. DM, did he uh, pass? He, he, he kind of looks at you. I didn't think any of you left Iron Master much. I'll tell you what. Two people can come with you if you are traveling to the Undercity. If anyone misbehaves, if anyone gets in trouble, steals anything, or is seen going where they're not supposed to, it's all your heads. On the floor. Without your bodies. So... Yeah, my word. Him and one other, or him and two others? Two others. Okay. Well, Alright. Obviously, I'm taking Peanut. It's your... Journey, Hold anyway. Cheers, everybody else. Let's go. Wait, what? Boulder, parchment, cheers. Aragorn's gonna look at his hands. I have none of those. <laughs> okay, you don't get to come. <laughs> uh, three, two, one, go. Boulder, parchment, cheers, go. <laughs> Man, y'all suck at this. <laughs> yeah, All right. You guys are terrible. Let's go again. <laughs> Boulder, Boulder parts me shears. shears. Go. Oh, Olmec's coming I, with. It's Olmec. Come on, <laughs> kitty. 
He's also just a really tall, hairy dwarf. All right. Well, right. Me and the, he me kind of just looks cat. up at Olmec. Watch your head. Duh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> bonk, meow. Bonk, meow. Uh, he, <laughs> so he said, he looks at the other guy. Watch the gate. Uh, and he, he waves you guys to follow him as he as he walks inside the garrison. Paragol's just standing there at the gate still looking at his hands. What did I do? He's having an existential crisis. <laughs> I'm so confused. Oh, these squares make a circle. Oh, these squares make a circle. <laughs> um, but as you, as you walk in, there is um, there's a courtyard. Uh, and at in this courtyard, there is I'm trying to think of how to describe it, almost like a triangular, um, like a right angle triangular um, outcropping. And on, uh, and it's the like the start of a of a stairway uh, because you see two massive doors uh and two two dwarves standing on either side of that and uh they kind of look confused and the dwarf just kind of waves it off um and one of them opens the door and you see a long uh what should be very dark but actually very well lit uh stairway um uh that kind of goes on for a while um and then you see at the bottom of the stairway, uh, there looks to be sort of a weird dead end. Oh, Go I on, wish I had a me. shield. I follow along. Leads you down the stairway. Uh, and it's and it's not a dead end like you thought. It is... Um, there's a wooden platform at the end uh, held up by ropes and a pulley system. And he... All right, get in. Hey, yep. And he like shuts a gate on either side, pulls <laughs> is, a lever. Is, is Olmec like? <laughs> yeah, o Olmec, you're basically <laughs> sitting on the floor. <laughs> all I can think of, all I can think of, is the elevator from Spirited Away with, yes. the, with the onion. Mm. Yep. <laughs> the rat of and they're spirit. just like, yeah, the rat of spirit. Thank you. And they're just like <laughs> against Olmec. Oh. <laughs> uh, but he, he pulls a lever, and the um, so you hear the some sort of like metallic clanking as mm -hmm. as things are uh, turning and being um, hit <laughs> against each other, uh, and it kind of shudders for a little bit, and uh, this platform slowly starts to sink down into the floor. <laughs> um, you travel f in. Not darkness, because there's a lantern above you, but sheer walls for about a minute before uh, it opens up into a large cavernous space. Uh, you're able to see um, if you've ever if you've ever seen um, like Rings of Power or any or any like big dwarven city in any fantasy. Long bridges, huge fires and forges off in the distance, uh, dwarves uh, just milling about uh, on these balconies built into the stone against the cavern walls. Um, and Damn, oh. this is impressive. Real quick, do all of these dwarves look like members of the Axe, or is this just dwarves of all kind of creeds? Yeah, this is dwarves of all types of creeds. Uh, you see people uh, as you get closer. You start to see people in just basic leathers, cl uh, clothing, um, just milling about, going about their day. Uh, while the um, the upper city, uh, the surface city, was kind of winding down for the day because of the darkness. The, this dwarven city is bustling. Uh, people still completely going about their day um, with n no sign of slowing down. I'll uh, be honest with you, boys. I don't think my internal clock set for this. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, you, uh, 
uh, about another minute of slowly sinking down and the uh, bot, the floor impacts uh, uh. with a landing. Gates open. Dwarf steps out. All right. There's a fighting pit. Cross that bridge to your left. Awesome. I got eyes on you. And he, he points to uh, one of the other uh, guardsmen who is an axe of Mirabar. They know you're here. If they, if we've got eyes all over this city. If they see you straight from the path, if they find you somewhere you're not supposed to be, no one on the surface will ever see you again. Got it? Got it. Right. Would, uh, would you give us any specific guidelines on how to behave down here? Mind your business. Mind your manners. Don't show any weakness or cowardice. Righto. Got it. Gonna look to our guard person. Ed, if we go the wrong way, can you make us go the right way before you kill us? <laughs> Cross the bridge. To your left. Fall the sounds of cheering. You can't miss it. Got it. And I'm off. <laughs> I'll follow point, along. At this point, Erdol's looked at Rune with his hands, then shakes his head and looks at Siren. My hands broken? No, your hands are fine. Oh. Okay. We should get you sit actually down. <laughs> read my mind a little, Zach. We're gonna uh, oh, kind forward. of go back to you three at the surface. What are you guys doing? Are my hands broken? <laughs> They're not broken. <laughs> Should we find somewhere to stay for the night since it seems like they're going to be out for the entire night? Yeah, maybe smart. I'm hungry. We can find food. I mean, this place seems nice. We'll probably have food at the inn. Probably. Are there any guards around? I mean, saying it you're, at the, um, you're at the garrison. I will find a guard. <laughs> <laughs> One whole guard. <laughs> One whole guard. Uh, yeah, you kind of look at the other guard who is standing there. Just He's just standing there at attention, kind of keeping an eye on you at the corner of his eye, but not really interacting with you. Is there an inn around here? Or treasure. I mean, an yeah, inn. Just an inn. An inn. Um... How classy you looking for? How classy are we looking for? Something within our means would probably be a good idea. I want to eat nice food. That last inn was shit. Yeah, it was. Yes, it was. So, like... Mid, mid range? Above Not average. Swanky. Yes. Above Not... average. Out of curiosity... Where were you coming from? A skin. skin. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we, we yeah. feel you on a spiritual level. <laughs> Pretty Gross. sure the whole town just went... <laughs> <laughs> um, I dare say, Luskin, ew! Well, <laughs> probably, if you ask, if, I mean, if you ask anyone else, they'll tell you go to the chip Dax. It's average. Warm bed. Okay, food. Nothing, nothing. That's gonna be a, a feast or anything, but eh, get you by. The other option, if you're willing to drop a little bit of more money, try to try to think of which one to send you to. The adorned X. I eat like a dragon. So I am. You. Could go to Mina's Rest. That one is very hit or miss. I've been there in a while. Um, say, you know what? No, I'm gonna I'm gonna send you to the other side of the city. It's a ways it's a ways away from here. We usually only recommend it for people coming uh, from the east. Would you go check out the Polish Shield? Okay. 
it's the polished shield or just polished shield? Polished shield. The polished shield. I don't know. I haven't read the sign in a while. I don't go there. I sleep here. Oh. Well, I'm sorry. Eh, it's okay. I, I like warm, fluffy beds and gold. We're kind of just oh. all standing around here wondering if uh, the giants are going to make their way up here with all the ruckus they've been causing. Oh, yeah, we killed some of them. Oh, you lucky bastard. What's that, luck? I no, I mean, you lucky out. bastard, you got to fight him. Oh. oh. Yeah, that's a good point. We did it wasn't see some... fun. There were some big giant people that fought on the road little ways out. Oh. Did you kill them too yeah. before they got to the city? No. no there was a fight They were already that. dead. Uh -oh. Yeah. So some other fucker fought them before they got to the city. Well, if it makes you feel any better, it looked like some of them survived and walked off. Yeah. That could be fun. <laughs> Is that Odie? Like, <laughs> I don't know. Just pulling out random voices. <laughs> no, it's just... Uh, that could be fun. <laughs> <laughs> so, shall we go to the polished shield? Yes. Want yes. food. They can't be bad. Sleeping outside you... sucked. Let our companions know that we will be at the Polish Shield. Please. If they make it out before morning. If they emerge, yes. Yeah. Sure. Thank you. Stay safe. Stay out of trouble. Don't let the axe come down on you. There, yes, oh. sir. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. As you two, as sorry, you three are uh, traveling towards the shield. We'll go back real quick to our uh, mischief makers. Fighting uh, fight rig, club. fighting rig. Gotta go join the fighting rig. You got any uh, like fighting arena music? I like, actually uh, texted Ian about I, that. I have something. I've never played it before. We'll see. Uh, as you get closer, cool. we'll see how this goes. Yeah, this works. Um, as you get closer, you start to hear um, a roar, uh, like a like a crowd uh, yelling. Uh, drums. Oh. No, it's 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 still well. It's supposed to be doing the thing. I can um, hear it. Yeah. Yeah, same. Uh, you hear drums uh, over the crowd as well, or really the crowd's almost drowning the drums out. Uh, as you get closer, you're able to uh, to make out like uh, just random shouts of uh, "Get him! Come out! Win me my money!" Um, Grab his jacket, twisted. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, and sure enough, you cross the bridge, and to your left is a big. Uh, it's a big building and as you walk in you see uh st like st uh stone bleachers almost on on each side of this rectangular arena and down the pit of dirt there are two dwarves at the moment just beating the shit out of each other um at the moment you have one who's got like a, a fiery red beard uh, lots of braids in it uh and it, his hair all pulled back in a bun and um, he gets a big right hook to his face and stumbles back uh, from a dwarf who's actually graying uh, in his in his uh, darker uh, black haired beard. Uh, and he also has his hair pulled back in a bun as well. You assume both to keep the hair out of their faces while they're fighting. Um, both shirtless only have a pair of trousers on. Uh, and as the redhead redheaded one kind of stumbles back, he kind of like hops back a little bit more and then takes a running start and does a flying double kick uh, at the other uh, dwarf uh, knocks him over and then they're just in the uh, in the dirt as the kind of uh, scrambling around uh, the black haired one finally gets on top just starts wailing <laughs> on him oh, uh, I want and, to get in there so bad um, after a good few seconds of him just beating the snot out of him uh, he gets off other dwarf not moving uh, just holds up his hand the whole crowd 
Oh. Peanut's gonna start like darting through legs, going, my turn, my turn, my turn, my turn, my turn, my turn, and just trying to find anyone that he can talk to that would get him in there. <laughs> um, you kind of look around, make a perception check. I'll make it. I think they'd let us do 3v3s. I hope so. God damn right, buddy. <laughs> I will say, Olmec, as you had to, as you walked in, you kind of had to like lean down and under the doorway. <laughs> this grandiose coliseum size. just felt like a toy train <laughs> car, just like, like even like the doorway was small, but the uh, the arena itself could probably hold uh, at least two to three hundred uh, regular size humanoids. Damn, got a twelve. 12 uh you look around and you see uh kind of to one side um there are there are dwarves kind of stationed around uh the edges of of the pit uh who are kind of keeping the crowd back uh they're the bouncers and then to one side in a corner uh near near a doorway that you assume leads down into the pit uh is um a dwarf who's got uh blue and green uh very eat for a dwarf very nice clothing it's not super ornate or anything he's got gold rings on his fingers uh nice amulet uh golden um uh beard decorate jewelry. yeah beard jewelry uh definitely looks like he runs the place gotta we'll doodle my way over to that guy <laughs> all right i do it my best to follow because I'm technically in fucking charge of him down here. <laughs> all right. Uh, you all make your way over. Of course, Peanut being super excited gets there first. <laughs> <laughs> he, he hasn't noticed you. He's kind of just keeping an eye on the fight. Uh, and as as the fight ends, he he turns away um, and he starts talking to us. He's actually turned away from you at this point. He starts talking to someone else and like, all right, uh, Everyone who voted, who bet on him, make sure they get all their gold. Uh, Hello. And of course, take ten percent off the top. Hey. Hey. He he turns around and he's like, ah, "What the fuck are you?" Sorry, he's with me. I would like a turd. <laughs> we don't like a turn, really. Uh, you, I, who the fuck are you all? Uh, uh what the fuck is that? He points at he points at old Mac. Yo, we're visitors. I'm from up towards Iron Master. These are my entourage. I promise I'll put on a good show. <laughs> right. Well, uh, tell you what, that was supposed to be our last fight for the night, but looks like the crowd is really uh worked up. You don't think this you, guy would make a good main event? Yo. It would definitely yeah, be me. interesting. <laughs> me, right here. All of us. Well, you all want to go at the same time. I mean, I'm mean, like going by myself. Or with them, I guess. I don't know if we're fighting each other, if we got three other fighters to spare. I will kick your ass. I know. I'm kind of... i tell you what. Uh... Your little mascot can be uh, the next warm-up fight. Uh, and then I'll find someone who's not too beat up for you two. All right. Sounds good to me. I guess in this case, it'd be cool down. You'll be fighting that guy over there, and he points to the salt and peppered beard. Uh, that's Gregor. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Gregor's going to fucking die. <laughs> I'm just gonna hop over the wall or whatever I gotta do to get in there, and I'm just gonna, like, just. Gregor kind of looks over at you, wondering, like, who the fuck is this and how did he get in? And uh, the crowd kind of starts, uh, dies down a little bit, wondering what the fuck is going on. And uh, the guy in blue and green steps out and says, Ladies and gentlemen, and all you other fuckers, looks oh. like we've got a few last minute contenders. Uh, Gregor! How about a little cooldown? You can fight, uh, what the fuck was your name again? Name's Peanut. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, a little, um, fun bout between the Gregor and Peanut. And everyone just starts kind of laughing. 
Oh, we'll see who's laughing. Uh, you see the, <laughs> some other dwarves have already drug off the guy with red hair. And uh, Gregor kind of like rolls his shoulder. Ah, I could use a little bit more easy money. Same fee as usual, Trevor. Yeah, same fee. Where do uh, I put my bet, by the way? I'd like to put about <laughs> 10 gold on that one. Wait, on a me or him? On Peanut. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I was like, oh. All bets are placed with me, the owner. <clears throat> All like right. gold. You have until the end of the fight to place your bets. Hey. Have at it, boys. 10 gold. Oh, so you both bet 10 gold? That is all I have to my name. Okay. All right. Uh, in that case, roll some initiative. Oh, it's cocked. Yeah, fuck me sideways. I'm rolling so low tonight. That is a five. five. Really? You're upset that you're <laughs> rolling low. All I can see is rage. <laughs> uh, Gregor will be going first then. Uh, kind of looks at you and is like, usually I would consider this a waste of my time, but money's money. Uh, and he just kind of throws a, throws a hook and is just expecting you to just flatten. You can tell he's not putting us all into it. He's just kind of trying to play with you at first. Um, it's a seven plus. Seven, so 14. Doesn't hit. Doesn't hit. As you, he throws a right hook and you just kind of dip out of the way. Noodle goes, body. <laughs> noodle. <laughs> noodle noodle. Okay. Maybe you are worth a little bit of effort. And he, uh, at this time, he throws a kick at your body. Um, math. 19. 19 hits. Okay. Uh, so that's going to be... Um... Uh, plus your strength modifier. So, um, eleven points of damage as he kicks as I'm... he uh, kicks you in the uh, in the chest. Come on, see what you got. Oh, okay, it's my turn. I would like to rage. <laughs> <laughs> okay, are you growing? Oh God, yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, so hey, that's you, you kind of take the, the, the kick to the chest and you kind of look up and just get an evil glint in your eye and you start to, starts grow. to bristle. The arms get thicker and just, <laughs> he, and then he kind of looks at you, he's like, oh, that's not fucking fair. <laughs> uh, and I will say, uh, Odie and Olmec, you look, uh, beside you, Trevor, um, looks over at someone in a, in a robe, as and he kind of motions to him, and the guy motions back. No, no magic. <laughs> the fuck is the fuck <laughs> was that thing? <laughs> Two of my attacks. Um. Well, that was a natural one and a nineteen plus six, so that's twenty-five. So I missed uh, a twenty-five. Will hit. <clears throat> Uh, and it's unarmed, so that's going to be four plus my rage, so six points of bludgeoning. Okay. Uh, so you he, you swing at him, and he is able to, like, duck out of the way of one, and then the other one just <laughs> thumbs down on him. And he, he is, he's able to, like, kind of stop it and push it to the side, but you can tell, he's like, you hit his shoulder pretty good. Ah. He, like, you hear a crack as he pops it back into place. Come on. <laughs> All right. Uh, and he takes a running start towards you and is going to, um, is going to, I don't know I want to describe this. Um, he Die. almost takes a, he takes a running start and then like kicks off of your knee. So he's like in your face. Uh, that's going to be 14. So that doesn't hit. So nope. he punches you and it just kind of impacts and, uh, and it's, uh, seeing it, he starts to fall, grabs onto the fur, and throws another hook. Uh, that's going to be a little bit better at a uh, 16. Oh, that just hits. Okay. 
Um, that's not going to be a ton of damage, though. It's just going to be uh, six damage. His unarmed okay. strikes are batshit crazy. Uh, yeah. Strong. And halved. Uh, so, yeah, so halved to three. Yep. <clears throat> Damn. All right. Um... And so now he's, like, he's like grabbing onto the uh, fur of your face and just trying to wail on your face. <laughs> Gotta grab him and fucking pit, throw him down onto the ground <laughs> and then just wail um... on him again. Okay, make a make a strength contest because he's technically grappling you a little bit, but see if you could pull him off your face. All right, well, I have advantage on that because rage. Yeah. Oh, that's gonna be a twenty-two. Oh yeah, you win. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so you pull him off your face and just slam him into the ground. Just, Go ahead and make no a contest. <laughs> uh, so that that was one of my attacks, pulling him off. No. no. Okay, so I still get both my attacks. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I'm just gonna do. I'm kind of running fast and loose with the rules here. Yeah, uh, that's definitely gonna hit. That's a twenty-four. Yeah, that hits. So that's another six points. And you know what? I'm gonna roll you again since you were so nice to me. Not so nice. That's gonna be a fourteen. And does not hit. Unfortunate. That's both my attacks. Uh, Sorry, what was the damage on the first one? Sorry, I missed that part. I mean, it's six. Six, okay. Yeah. So you slam him into the ground, and as uh, you move your hand to try to elbow him, he quickly rolls out of the way, spits a tooth out. Oh, I like this! At this point, the crowd is going crazy. <laughs> um, Yay! <laughs> meow! Um, that's going to be 15 and a 25. The 25 hits. Okay. Uh, so he he runs in uh, and uh, he actually punches the side of your knee so it buckles, uh, dealing um, seven points of uh, bludgeoning damage, uh, half to three again. Uh, and so you kind of buckle a little bit and he uh, tries to swing up uh, into your chin, um, <laughs> but just can't quite make it. <laughs> um, okay, your turn. If only I was a few levels higher, I could just literally pick him up and throw him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna hit him twice again. Just, just like lumbering after, just like goosh, 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 goosh. <laughs> that's a 19 and a natural 20. Let's no. go. Uh, so that's the 19 is 25. Uh, that's gonna be six points of bludgeoning. Mm -hmm. So with the natural twenty, that's twelve points of bludgeoning. Okay, so all together it's twelve. No, or, uh, that's gonna so be all together it's eighteen. Eighteen. Eight. Okay, eighteen points of damage. Yeah. Um, as uh, what? So what are you doing this time? I mean, just as he's there, I'm just gonna start Chasing like hammering the ground, just like full <laughs> full fisting the ground around where he is. And if I get him with one, I'm just gonna fucking boom with the critical. Okay, so like, double handed you start... with the critical. You start pumbling the ground, kind of playing whack-a-mole with him. You finally are able to clip him, and then he falls down. And you just, mm. um, and I'm just kind you... of imagining Loki the. <laughs> 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 so as, as you're feeling good about yourself, you got his, uh, uh, his, your fist in him. You kind of feel it move. You feel your fist being pushed back up as he kind of, oh, you. Motherfucker, and he's going to attempt to actually grab your hands and throw you over, like throw you over his shoulder. Um, I need you to make a strength uh, contest, so uh, strength check on your part. Didn't learn about no contest last. Time. Uh, that is a twenty for him. Oh, that's an eighteen for me. Uh. Okay, so. He actually picks you up off the floor and rolls onto his back and slams you on your back. This shouldn't be happening. <laughs> <laughs> this person in the script. <laughs> uh, and deal dealing um, twelve points of bludgeoning damage, uh, and that's his whole action. Um, so it's your turn. Okay. I just I just picture it panning back up to the people on the surface. <laughs> or as he gets slammed into the ground, the entire crowd just 
<laughs> uh, so am, am I flat on my back? Like, am I prone or anything? Yeah, you're 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 prone. Okay. Um, but so is he. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he is. Yeah, because he had to roll onto his back to get the leverage to flip you. Whoops, okay. Daisy. I'm just gonna get up and uh, start wailing on him again. Since he's on his back, gives me advantage. Okay. Go for it. First strike. Oh, you're cocky, you little bastard. Come on. Uh, that is an 18. Uh, yeah, that hits. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> I was uh, sorry. I was noticing with something yeah. with someone posted in campaign spoilers. Like, yeah, pretty much. So, uh, that's six, and the next one. Uh, yeah, that's a 21, so that's 12 altogether. Okay, yeah, so you, you kind of roll over and quickly... Uh, he takes it, rolls over, and you can tell he's he's kind of swaying at this point a little bit. Oh, God. When did there get to be two of you? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> How many fists do you see? <laughs> Not enough, motherfucker! And he rolls <laughs> Um, it's gonna be two, twelve, so uh, seventeen and seventeen. Uh, those both hit. Okay, uh, and he's gonna use a key point. Oh, oh um, that explains a lot. Uh oh, <laughs> he's uh, key. So, hitting uh, both, he's gonna use a key point for flurry of blows. Um, so for the first two, that's uh, twenty points of bludgeoning damage, half to ten. Yeah. And then for yeah. Flurry of Blows, that's a natural 20 and a 19 oh. and a natural 19. Uh, yeah, those hit. Um, so, um, so adding up all the dice, so that's... Twenty-four have to twelve. Uh, and then he's going to use another key point to try to study and strike, so I need you to make, I believe it's a wisdom saving throw, Olmec? Constitution. Or con con constitution. Yeah, constitution saving throw against... Ah, uh, I've been punched in my kidneys! I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was going to be a 22. 22. Yeah, you, you save. Uh, you've so what? Uh, so he rolls over, runs up to you as you're kind of bent down, punching towards him. Runs up your arm a little bit and just starts <laughs> wailing on your face. Uh, and that last punch, you feel something connect in your temple, like in your body tries to seize up, uh, but you kind of shrug it off as he like does a backflip and lands. You're a tough motherfucker. Ugh. Ow. Yes, I am. I'm. Your turn. Uh, just kind of for flavor, just want to do like a jumping thing. <laughs> elbow down. <laughs> um, I'm gonna reckless. People's this. elbow. I'm gonna reckless this round. Okay. Oh. Uh, it's gonna be a 22. That hits. And then, so elbow connects on the ground. Gonna get up and just like hands down, just boof, fucking headbutt him into the dirt. <laughs> No, that's a 12. 12. What was the first one? 22. 22. Um, I'll go ahead and say, uh, go ahead and roll, what's your damage for the 22? Six? Six. Okay, how do you want to do this? I, I mean, elbow drop and then just, like I said, headbutt into the ground, just go goosh! Okay. <laughs> so you you see him kind of stumbling. Uh, you, you're pretty sure he put all he had <laughs> into that last thing, hoping to stun you to give him a moment to breathe. And you just people's elbow right oh. into his uh, <laughs> right into his chest and you see him kind of uh, on the ground as you reel back Boom. And, <laughs> crowd goes crazy <laughs> as just roaring uh, fucking kaiju peanut uh, <laughs> just uh just lies in the dirt and uh trevor looks over like i'll be damned <laughs> well, I'm assuming there was a couple early bets on the the dwarf. Oh, oh yeah. Um, <laughs> you. He kind. He's just kind of like stunned. <laughs> he's like starts pointing towards towards his uh, money man. 
Pay, pay him. Mother, what the fuck? I, I do, I do want to, get? as I'm still big, to like help him out of the crater. And kind of like, kind of on his feet. It's kind of like, as I shrink down, it's like, yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, he kind of just sits down. Ow. Okay, <laughs> if I had known you could do that, I would have fought you tomorrow. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> tell you what, if we come back through, I'll hit you up on that. Sounds good. Thanks, Thanks. Gregor. Peanut, thanks for the pipe. He kind of he claps your forearm <laughs> and then sits back down because he's like, oh, God, my head. <laughs> She's going to kind of saunter him back. I go to bed now. Uh, the, so the money guy <laughs> comes over to uh, Odie and Olmec uh, and gives you 50 gold each. Oh. Don't Do say we I add that on top of our you. 10? <laughs> Sorry? Do we add that on top of our 10? Uh... <clears throat> I remember how betting works. Uh, yeah, I'll say so. I'll say sixty. Yeah. Just saw Kayla's doodle. I love it. Do what? I just saw Kayla's doodle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we'll pause there and um, head back up top to the service. You've made your way across the city and you're standing in front of the polished shield. Mm. How does it look? It's very nice. Uh, it's a two-story building. There's actually a balcony. Um, very large uh, inn. Seems like it could hold quite a few people. Um, there, are, inside are lights and laughter and uh, lots of uh, the sound of lots of people talking over one another. Battle drums for some reason. Oh yeah, let me. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to fight some food. <laughs> dang, dang. Fight that cholesterol. You got this. I said the music was distracting. <sighs> there we go. <clears throat> I can't fight food to this. <laughs> it looks nice. Yes. I'm going to go inside. He's not even going to say anything else. He's just going to fuck walk into the door. <laughs> Wait, this is regular person sized or dwarf sized? This is regular person sized. Okay, walk. Yep. You, um, you walk in. Again, very nice establishment. Tables uh, kind of spread all around. The regular circular kind. Uh, nice chandelier uh, hangs from the ceiling uh, made of antlers. Um roaring fireplace to one side um there's still a bit of that spring chill in the air so it's very nice feeling um long bar all across one side of, of uh, all across one wall completely taking up a wall um and some stairs leading up to the second floor see anybody who might know or who looks like a reception uh no uh, reception. There is a few people at the bar, um, and a couple of barmaids walking, bar maids and men walking around. You guys want to go to the bar? It's fine. Food sounds good. Really good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> gonna get to the bar. You gonna look at the two upsies. Siren's so gonna give him upsies <laughs> onto a stool. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> He's still like. <laughs> he's, uh, he's like, the ears problem. make it over the counter. That's about it. <laughs> what? Oh, okay. Um, Just are up here. Boo! <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll say you can, like, see over the counter, but that's about it. Okay. <laughs> um, Do we need to get you a booster seat? Or a kid's menu. <laughs> <laughs> ooh, ooh, can we draw at it? <laughs> All of a sudden, you a fireball appears above fucking Odie's head. Weird. <laughs> 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 um, not short. You guys are just tall. Uh, a younger man walks over. Looks like a uh, just a regular um, bartender. Uh, how may I help you? Food would be nice if you Please. have anything ready. Uh, if you're not looking for anything in particular, I can just uh, whip up some house specials for the day. What's a house special? 
meat, potatoes, whatever they got on hand. I want three. Whatever the cook's feeling like cooking. I want three. I d just, don't don't just just do uh, it. We'll take it. we'll take five. You one one and people? three. One one and three. Okay. Um, three house specials. Anything to drink? Five house specials. Oh. Right. Five. Sorry. Um, five house specials. Anything to drink? Something strong. Water. Do you have anything spicy? Oh. You got a lot of dwarven brews that like to add some spice. I'm sure I could yes. put something up for you. I want a big one, please. And how much are rooms here? Uh, rooms are five silver a night. Or, um... What's the week price? Sorry, I just started working here uh, about two weeks ago. Still getting my bearings. Um, We're doing we... fantastic. Thank you. Um, uh, uh, so I think um, week price is three gold. Oh, oh we're only going to be here at night. So. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, well, between uh, at least for everyone not eating for three people, um, Damn. with <laughs> service, meal, drink, and room, it'll be about a gold. Uh, for you, be about uh, two gold. Damn, yeah, food's expensive. Well, I have a feeling you're probably going to be drinking a lot of the drink, too. Okay, fair bet. <laughs> and, the art um, of the deal. Uh, how many rooms? Three rooms. Um, uh, yeah. So let's see. Between all your food, um, three rooms. I come out to about. That's a red many. So four silver. Sorry. Four silver. Actually, I think we're I think we're two um, twelve, three rooms. Um, yeah, I think we're to about five gold at this point. How did it go from four silver a room? He said, "Well, it's it's five uh, silver a room a night, uh -huh. uh, and then the week price is three gold." Yeah, but we're saying one night. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, must, I'm, 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 I'm factoring food. I was factoring in, I'm factoring three. room and drink as well. I mean, food and drink as well. Three rooms at five silver would be one and a half gold already. So, yeah. Plus all the food and the and the drink. He's he's quoting you. It's not. It might not be that uh, exactly, but he's he's quoting you for the food and the drink too. Okay, that works. Keep our tab up. I can do that. <laughs> Did tab work for food too? Yeah. Let's what go. Do you have any dwarf sized chairs? Uh, not many of them make it up here except for the owner. So, not usually. Plus, dwarves usually don't have too much trouble with the chair size. You're gonna see just like the vein on his head pop. Be inadvertently called fucking short. <laughs> okay. Can I sit on the at the bar? Can you? Uh, we prefer you not to sit on the bar. We sit okay. at the bar. I'm sitting at the bar. <laughs> you have a book that he can sit on or something, just a little booster to. I'm gonna to take out my detective's notebook, <laughs> my bag. Uh, let me see if I can find you a. Uh, don't say it. A booster seat. I was gonna say a cushion. Yes, I want the cushion, please. Yeah, I'll I'll be right back. I'll get the food and drink started as well. Thank you. <laughs> kind of walks off. <laughs> Man's thinking, just I don't get paid enough for this. <laughs> Eric also sitting there, not saying anything. Side eye, both of them. Say a thing. Um, Nothing wrong with wanting a cushion. Yeah, so I want it for, just for my butt. I want my butt to be comfy. That's the only reason. You like soft and fluffy things. Yes, you I want do. A cushion. You're totally right. 100% <laughs> the reason. 
<laughs> so after a little bit, um, just a just a few minutes, uh, someone someone else comes over from behind you. He's like, "Did somebody here want a cushion for this?" Me. She takes it. <laughs> oh, okay. And the lady just walks away. Thank you. Uh, after that, the the young man returns with uh, setting out five plates of food and three drinks. All right. Um, I've already got your room set up as well. He hands you three keys. Uh, so up front, that would be... Yeah. Um... Sorry, I did do the math wrong. I think we're at four gold. Um, well, if it makes you feel any better, I've already taken three gold out of my freaking thing because I thought that was just for me. So if anybody can pony up the one gold. <laughs> I will. Very well. Uh, if you need anything else, you know where to find me. And he wanders off to help someone else. Was this guy a human? Yeah, just a young oh. human male. Okay. I'm going to start eating vigorously. All right. Is there anything anyone else wants to do? Siren's just gonna enjoy her food. Donna. Okay. We shall rejoin the boys. Uh, back the boys. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh yes. Fucker just called me a chick with a shirt. <laughs> 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 You've been in. Sh oh, hey, no, Siren is the only female of the group. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Get fucked, nerd. Um. <clears throat> As uh, as we return to the fighting pit, uh, Trevor kind of looks over the, uh, the three of you. Well, uh, you all have successfully riled up the crowd even more somehow. What can I Don't say? Have a... I'm kind of awesome. I'm not really allotted for much more time. People do have other things to do. Tell you what, I've got two fighters who haven't done much today. How would the two of you feel about a 2v2? What do you think, Omek? Are we on the same team? I would hope I so. can make it a free-for-all if you want. Come on, let's go on the same team. <laughs> <laughs> Although a free-for-all does sound tempting. I don't want to go against you, kitty cat. <laughs> kind of scary. <laughs> team. All right. All right. I will get them ready. I down into the pit for me, and he looks at Olme and he looks at Olmec. Just no claws, as a rule. Fists only. I, I just look at my claws, and they suck back in. <laughs> <laughs> Kitty soft claws. Um. So soft. So you you two head down to the arena. And a few seconds after, uh. A pair of twins, <laughs> uh, a twin dwarves walk out. Twins, Basil. female twins. Twins, twins Basil. Twins. twins! <laughs> <laughs> uh, but these these female uh, dwarves both have their uh, hair back in braids all the way down their back, uh, just jacked. Like this is this is the definition of uh, a, a female gym rat. They are just. Stacked. stacked. <laughs> Those dwarves are so stacked. <laughs> um, all right, ladies and gentlemen, I, I know you're here a little bit later than you thought, but we have one last fight to get through. Place your bets, everyone, and uh, let us begin. And you, uh, you all hear a gong uh, that didn't ring for the first time because no one really thought much of... of uh, much is going to come out of the first fight, and we're proven very wrong. Uh, but a gong is sound as uh, we roll initiative. Yeah, peanut, I, right? Yeah. Uh, ten gold on my boys. Ten gold on both or together? What? Two gold on each or ten gold... Oh. oh, 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 no, just on the team. Just, just one ten gold. All right. He takes he takes the gold, puts it in a little pouch, hands it to his money man. Ten gold on the uh, newbies. Uh, I'm going to put five myself on the sirens. 
Oh, is that their name? Yeah. That's so cool. We have a lady in our group called Siren, so this will... Ooh, I wonder if my money was placed right. Don't fuck uh, up! <laughs> oh, try. Oh, that's really funny. I just rolled their initiatives and they both rolled the same initiative. The twins! <laughs> the twins! The twins! <laughs> uh, what did you guys roll? 13. 15. 15. 15. Uh, the twins will be going first. As oh, they kind of split off from each other and kind of come in from the sides to pincer maneuver uh, you Never two. Uh, one going f uh, for Olmec is going to no. roll. Uh, that's going to be a 20 not nat and a 9. Uh, well, one I hit. should ask. Should I have... Should I stow my shield? Uh, they this, this is fist only, so they wouldn't have allowed your shield into the arena. Gauntlets? <laughs> as a hat. As a hat. You, you wear it as a hat. Um... <laughs> So let's see here. Uh, that's going to be uh, nine points of bludgeoning damage to you, Olmec. Ow. Uh, Ow. For Odie. Uh, ooh. That's going to be a 11 and a natural 20. Natural 20 hits. Uh, that's going to be 11 points of bludgeoning damage to you. Fuck. All right. Um, it is now Olmec's turn. Um, who's the beast who punched me? Uh, so they're again they're twins. You can't really tell them apart. Uh, they're both redheads, braided down, uh, green eyes. Um, you assume probably attractive for a dwarf. <laughs> Uh, but you've got you've got one on uh, if you're facing them. One is on your right, and the other one's on Odie's uh, left. I'm gonna hit the one on my right, and I'm gonna make her look different and not identical anymore. <laughs> mm -hmm. Damn! I'm fuck her up. <laughs> All right, go for it. Uh, on the Olmec, arm strike. Olmec only attacks the left side. Odie only attacks the right side. <laughs> it's left twigs and right twigs. 21 to hit. Ooh. 21 to hit. That hits. Nine damage. All right. Uh, second attack. Do I do flurry of blows on like this? You can. I do that. <laughs> oh, 13. 13 total will not hit. Balls. Don't you have two attacks for Fleury Fl of Blows? Also, don't you also have a second attack? Uh, the, the, uh, yes, I do. I, I do have two attacks. So you have Flurry two attacks, and then I believe Flurry, Flurry of Blows gives you two more attacks. So make sure you do those other two. Immediately after you take the attack action on your turn, you can spend one key point to make two unarmed strikes. Oh, cool. Who knew? No, your abilities. Nope. <laughs> nope. That is a miss. Hey, there we go. Physical dice like me. Natural 20 plus oh. 6, 26. <laughs> That'll hit. Oh, shit. So, for my bludgeoning, it's 1d6 plus 3. Mm -hmm. That's a total of 9 plus 6. So, 15. 15. So, 15. Uh, so, she gets in close, uh, and you're both kind of blocking and trading blows. She gets in a punch on you, and uh, you find an opening just right across uh, the temple uh, and you she rears back you can already see it's starting to swell a bit and maybe given her look at the black guy um, we shot them apart they're weak <laughs> uh, okay that's your turn um, mm -hmm. Odie ready I'm not thinking this through uh, I'm gonna go for an unarmed strike that's gonna be a 19 plus 4 23 to hit 23 hits damn gonna be two bludgeoning damage and i'm gonna take my other attack natural one does not hit <laughs> oh, okay you you uh she gets in a blow on you and you're like ah and uh just kind of throw a hell mary and, and it connects it just kind of goes <clears throat> you're pretty you know that 
<laughs> uh, so she's going to take both her attacks at you again. Ah, oh, man. Shit. <laughs> I didn't do that on purpose. How the fuck did that work? I kind of want to re-roll those, but at the same time, what the fuck? I got Happy another nineteen. Right your best shot. I got another natural nineteen and another natural twenty. I don't Fire know. Away. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. So I assume, so that's both gonna hit. Uh, Peanuts is over there like uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. Um. Um. Uh, 27 nice. points of bludgeoning damage <laughs> as she just kind of uses her head to knock your fist to the side and just pummels away at your face. <laughs> I just, oh. <laughs> I called you pretty. <laughs> um, on the other one on. Ooh, that's gonna be a swing and a miss on both. I think the highest one she got was a 14. Uh, for Olmec. 14? Yeah. yeah. Miss. Okay, so she kind of is, is kind of squinting one eye because of its swollen. It starts trying to throw some jabs and nothing's connecting. Uh, but you you start to hear Odie just getting the shit kicked out of him. <laughs> ow, ow, ow. <laughs> uh, Olmec, it's your turn again. <laughs> you just uh, here. You're pretty. Kenny <laughs> <laughs> uh, punch, boo boo boo. You can spend one key point. You take the attack action. Okay, so I'm going to do a unarmed strike. Okay. And I'm going to roll those physically. Fifteen plus six. That'll hit. Awesome. Oh. Uh. Oof. I'm going to roll those physically. Four. Four? Okay. Second attack. I'm going to use a key point for kidney punch. Okay, what do we? What does she have to roll to save? Uh, Well, that's a miss anyway. Oh. Well, okay. would you not roll the kidney strike? Is that Yeah, you can choose to roll hit? the kidney... Oh. Uh, yeah, you can choose the kidney strike after you hit. Well, yeah, I'll, I'll do that. Pretty sure. Double double check me because you have it in front of you, but I'm pretty sure you can choose that after you get for breath till the start of your next turn. When you hit a creature with an unarmed attack, you reduce its speed by ten. Speed reduction stacks. Blah blah blah. So I think it it automatically does it. Yeah, I think you can choose after you confirm a hit. So I'll let that stand. Uh, so awesome. what type of uh, save and how, uh, what's the DC? It doesn't really say much of anything. When you choose well, what's the save, and then your DC will be the level. same for any of your key saves. Uh, where the hell do I find that? Do, do, Probably do. in your abilities. Features and traits. Blah, blah, blah. Three of DC 13. DC 13. Uh, does it say what type of save? Probably constitution, I'm guessing. I would assume constitution. Okay. No, wisdom. Wisdom, okay. Uh, that's going to be a 12. Uh, what is my wisdom? So wait, hold on. Uh, crap. Your proficiency bonus plus your wisdom modifier. So where is my proficiency bonus? What? Beside your walking speed, it's a plus three. So plus three plus my wisdom. Right? Am I reading that right? What are you trying to figure out? The key save DC equals eight plus your proficiency bonus plus your wisdom modifier. What's your wisdom? Yeah, so it's eight plus three oh. is 11 plus two is 13. Yeah, so she got a 12. She uh, she didn't make it. So what's the what's the effects? Uh, she has speed reduced. She, she takes one point of exhaustion. Oh. Right? Um, speed reduction. Right, so she has disadvantage on all her rolls now. Okay. <clears throat> uh, so you, uh, <clears throat> you get a few good punches in and right in the kidney uh, with that n almost like your knuckle uh, extended a bit, and sh you just hear the breath <clears throat> leave her. Um, Odie, it's your turn. I'm gonna look at the one that I'm currently fighting. And realize 
my time is probably better spent elsewhere. Run! I'm going to go and tackle the other one and try and grapple her to the ground. <laughs> you went quiet right as the music stopped, and as soon as you said run, it kicked back in. Um, so, she's going to take an attack of opportunity, because the other person is technically more than five feet away. That's going to be 17 to hit. Son of a bitch. Yes, it does hit. She has Sentinel. Uh oh. Ah! We fight in uh, the And that's going to be uh, nine points of damage. Yeah. So do I attack her now? I guess. Uh, you. Yeah, you can if you want to. And attack her then. Like, all right, no, fine. <laughs> Fucking ten to hit. Oh. Uh, that will not hit. Second attack. Fucking ten to hit. Let's roll the dice, man. It's okay. Yep. Um. So. Uh, that is their turn. So. Um. She's actually. Seeing that you tried to run away and then using Sentinel to block you, she's kind of going to turn her head, look at Olmec and realize he's the bigger threat and just flick you off and do the same thing you did and run past you to go at Olmec. <laughs> opportunity. You can take an opportunity attack. Yeah, absolutely. Fucking. That's what he was doing. He was spitting at her. Get right in the eye. <laughs> yeah. Oh my fucking God. That's going to be a 13 to hit. Uh, 13 does not hit. Um, Olmec. A 16 and a 21. Uh, both hit. Okay. So, 10 points of damage total. Ouch. And then the other one is a disadvantage. Uh, that's a 3. And another 3. Fuck you, dice. Uh... Thank you, Dice. Um, so you're, you're dodging <laughs> punches from the one in front of you when you just get rabbit punched twice in the back of the head. Um, funny, fucker. Uh, it it kind of stuns you. You turn around and the other one's there too. And you're like, where the fuck happened to Odie? <laughs> uh, but it's your turn. I am going to... So uh, real, uh, real quick uh, interjection. I read the kidney punch thing and it's a lot scarier than I realized. You spend one key point when you take the attack action and you deliver those blows until the start of your next turn. So if you call so it I'm off the get go and every time you hit from then on. It stacks. Oh. So basically you spend one key point <laughs> as you're about to attack, and if you do your two attacks and then flurry of blows and hit with all four. That's four stacks of potentially. Good to know. Good to know. Remember that for the future. Yeah, um, that's fucking terrifying. <laughs> like right now, the future's come. Go ahead. Sorry, please yes. go ahead, you. So, uh, one punch will be towards um, the right lady. Okay. Oh, I gotta knock the bus. That's a natural twenty. <laughs> okay. Are you using kidney punch for this too? Oh yeah. Okay, so kidney punch <laughs> is, oh is in effect. For the for the rest of your turn, uh, one d six. That is a five plus three, which is uh, eight. Eight. Okay. So eight on top of six. Okay. So that's uh, 14. 14. fourteen. And they take another point of exhaustion. Yep. Uh, yes. They have which... to make their save. Oh yeah, wisdom save. Oh right, which is at disadvantage. Nice. Um, this is an ability check. It's not a it's, saving throw. It's a uh, for the first point throw. of exhaustion. It's all. I think it's all ability checks, attacks, and saving throws. Uh, no. Correctly. First one is disadvantage on ability checks. Third level exhaustion is disadvantage on attack rolls and saving throws. Okay. Well, I took that at dis uh, disadvantage for no reason last time. That's fine. I'll let it stand. It's constitution, um, not wisdom. Okay. Oh. Uh, either way, she still. Uh, I still rolled a natural one for the first roll, so it doesn't matter. No points. <laughs> um, okay. Second attack. Um, 
I can expend another key point for flurry of blows also. Well, you still have your second attack as well. Right. Don't forget. Yeah. Oh, that's a miss. Oh. Okay. So and uh, now flurry of blows. Now flurry of blows. So I'm going to try to punch Dazed Lady again. Her name's Dazed and Confused. The natural 20. <laughs> No fucking way. Uh, based on her health, I'm not even going to make you roll for that. Uh, do you want to put any flair on this knockout? Ding, ding. I fucking just punt her. You punt her? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, Five so I'll say with punch. both of them on like either side of you, Odie and Peanut, Five you're witnessing like punch. something out of uh, like a John Wick or a Kung Fu movie where he's fighting two people on both sides with like each hand and uh, like trading punches and then all of a sudden you just see him like high kick to the face and just lift her off her feet and into the dirt not moving and now there's just one left I don't know why I picture just boop 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 <laughs> <laughs> finish her that's best uh, sportsmanship you still have another attack. flurry of blows attack yeah. yes I do use it on her and uh, if I read this correctly, I can fight dirty with a cheap shot, right? Okay, what does the cheap shot do? At sixth level, you expand your horizons for unfair violence. You can use your reaction to make an opportunity attack against a creature who hits you with a critical hit. Never mind. Oh, okay. you didn't get hit with a critical hit. Okay. Yeah. That would be great for Odie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, damn right. <laughs> <laughs> Promise. That would be... A miss, I assume. Aww. Four plus six. Okay, so, Odie. Yeah. Their back is turned to you. What are you doing? You have advantage. You do oh. have advantage since you're now flanking. Come on, reload. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try and grapple him. Set her up for fucking Olmec. Go for it. Ooh. Uh, so that'd be strength contest. So roll your uh, strength check. Never mind, it's a natural one. Oh, okay. It's 12. Uh, so, not even paying attention to you, you just, uh, as as she kind of goes for a punch, you like, uh, you like duck your arms under hers and just full, uh, just like full Nelson back of the head. She's like, what the fuck? Come on, Omek, get her, come on. Um, <laughs> it's her turn her for long, she before hurts. Omek, so she's gonna try to break the grapple. Are you whispering uh, So I need you to make another strength check. Oh, son of a bitch, I'm not strong enough for this. It's uh, gonna be a nine. Nine is not gonna make it. As as she as she struggles and just rears back and and headbutts you in the nose. Uh and that and, and makes you kind of step back, uh breaking the hold. Uh doesn't do a ton of damage, just like does one point of bludgeoning. Uh but it's dazes you that? enough. Uh, but that was her turn getting out of the out of the hold. Uh, so are you it's kidding me? That now. does one point of damage. That still fucking takes out a sixth of my health. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, Olmec, it's your turn again, because he he took up her turn. Well, uh, she's gonna die. Um, so, uh, I have to do a new key point for kidney yes. punch. So. Kidney punch enabled. Okay. And Engage. flanking. Kidney so... punch. So yeah, yeah, oh, you, you got. Uh, yeah, you got advantage. Oh, poggers. That is fifteen plus six. That hits. Hell yeah. Poggers. I really wanted to say it didn't because of poggers, but fine. Yeah. Poggers. 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 Uh, I will I end can't. the stream. No, so, this is fun. Fuck you. <laughs> Uh, how much? Four damage. Okay. And you need to make what is it? Constitution. Right, yeah. Constitution. <clears throat> That's another natural so one. What the fuck is this? Dice is very <laughs> oh balanced. I either get a natural twenty or nothing. <laughs> Exhausted. High variance is uh, a bitch. <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> uh, let me continue. So now she has disadvantage points. on attack. Check. No check. No, just check it okay. attacks. Okay. So well, since Odie, I... if you want to try that grapple again. <laughs> yeah, bye. Yeah. Never mind. Okay. Go go for your second attack. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Yeah, you Boy. have two attacks by default. 
<laughs> That's a miss. That's a miss. Well, <laughs> with with both? Yeah, yeah, you you're, you're still flanked. Yeah. You're still flanked. Oh, oh yes. I did octopus. <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> Blessing of the octopus. Another con, another con saving throw. So nine. That's, that's gonna that's gonna succeed. So not another point of exhaustion, unfortunately. Even at disadvantage, DM. Yeah, but well, you are this motherfucker. Wait, it's yeah, a saving no, throw. It, it was it's the same throw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. throw. It's different. Okay. okay, okay, okay. Oh. Sixteen damage. Uh, 16 damage. Woo! She is uh, starting to look just as beat up as her sister. Um, and now my turn. It is now your turn. Yeah, hug grapple. <laughs> <laughs> All right, make. Uh, that's. Ooh, that's Holy high. fuck! Five. <laughs> Five. It, it's not gonna work this time, but unfortunately, she uh, even at disadvantage got an 11. Oh my fucking god. Uh, Carry on, my wayward son. So, uh, you try to slip in, and she just throws an elbow back in your face uh, for. It's gonna be a 15 to hit. <laughs> oh, to me? Yeah. Meets beats. Fuck you. <laughs> uh, that's gonna be f uh, four points of bludgeoning damage. Oh, oh, let's go! <laughs> real, real quick. So, Odie, do you have two attacks on your turn? Yeah. The grapple is only one of your two attacks. I can only take an extra attack if my first one was an attack. Oh, okay. So it's not two attacks yeah. per action. You have a special thing about it. Okay, sorry. Disregard. Uh, well, it is two attacks per action, but if I don't take the attack action, then... I don't get two attacks. Do, wait, do you have the ability extra attack? Um, let me double check. Make sure I'm not fucking myself unnecessarily in this fight where I am fucked. Um, actions and combat. Jesus Christ, where is this? Features and traits. Extra attack. You can attack twice rather than once whenever you take the attack action on your turn. So I believe with the rules that we're using, you can try to grapple twice because grapple is only counting as a, a singular attack. So you can try the grapple again if you want. And you take your four. If it succeeds, you'll be taking your four health back. <laughs> okay. Uh, That'll advantage. be an 18 this time. That's a one. <laughs> oh, that's good. So <laughs> take your four health back, back and she is now restrained again. Uh... On her turn, she's going to try again <laughs> to break. It's 18. Okay. So 12. Or oh, she breaks free. Okay. Sorry, bud. Uh, but that is her action breaking free again. Um, so Olmec, you're up. I'm going to do the same thing. Kidney punch enabled. All right. How many key points do you have left? Two. Okay. This will uh, be one more. Okay. After kidney punch. Okay. Go for it. Uh, twelve plus uh, six. Six. Yeah. That'll hit. Hell yeah. <clears throat> one d six. One plus three four. Okay. Next attack. Uh, uh, remember these are same throw. Oh right, thank you. Uh, remember these are attacks at advantage because flanking. Uh, that's oh. gonna be. Oh right, wait. Uh, that's a four. Oh wait, no saving throw. Be, uh, so it wasn't a disadvantage. So original roll was uh, fifteen natural. Sorry. Uh, keep forgetting the rules here. Uh, and I'm the DM. Seed. What was the next one? Uh. 11 plus 6. That'll hit. <laughs> so another saving throw. You said it was because it's uh, 10 plus 3, so 13. So it just meets it. So they save? Yeah, just barely saves. What? 5 plus 3 is uh, 9. No. <laughs> 8 points of damage. 8. 8. <laughs> 8 points of damage. Uh, how do you want to do this? 
Yay! Ew. Um, I'm going to. <laughs> I'm gonna use my tail to like grab her chin, mm -hmm. and then just like bap her against the face. Bang bang. Okay, so all of you for like the past few <clears throat> minutes have been seen after the first uh, have been seen ever, these two ever since they doubled uh, uh, started working together on Olmec just this flurry of blocking and punching just sometimes you can't even see how fast I'm moving. <laughs> Odie tried to get in every now and then it's just the girl slipping out of his grasp <laughs> just um, picture the fight just eventually Odie gets in <laughs> fuck you uh, <laughs> uh, at one point uh, a kick shoots out and just lifts the other uh, the girl off the floor and there's only one left they're still trading blows slipping in and out of Odie's uh, attempts to grapple and then at some point, a, her, your tail comes out and flicks her in the chin, uh, chin just long enough uh, to distract her for you to uppercut and send her in the air and into the dust. Proud goes, yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Both of you are still standing, one oh. looking a whole lot better than the other. That's blood. <laughs> oh, uh, a peanut up near you, Trevor goes, oh. Really thought they had them. Especially when the other dwarf didn't turn out to be too much of a fighter. I'm an artificer by trade. <laughs> Blood. <laughs> well, that's a bet. Uh, what were the odds? Ah. Oh, well, that makes sense. Uh, here is your total plus your bet, Mr. Peanut. 70 gold. This was, uh, I hope you enjoy spending my gold. I mean, it, it's going to a good cause, but honestly, this was just a lot of fun. Thanks for having me. Well, if you and your patron come down my way, make sure it's a little bit earlier in the day. Yeah, sorry, that way I can that. really uh, give the people a good show. Can do. I'm just going to look down uh, and go through. Come on, let's go to bed. Uh, as, <sighs> as you guys are starting to walk out of the arena, you're like, ladies and gentlemen and fuckers, have a good night. Come back here next week for another round at the pit. Yay. Hooray. And <clears throat> you all make your way back to the elevator. The guard, like same right guard standing the there. Um, you're like, oh. You didn't get lost. All right, nope. up on. We'll take you back. Cool. We kind of kicked ass, too. I stumbled my ass onto the elevator. <laughs> you kick each other's ass. He doesn't look too good. No. Uh, he... The sirens. Yeah, he fought some sirens. <laughs> uh, I won. Technically, we won. He looks at, he looks at uh, Ol uh, Olmec. I can believe he won. Peanut won against Gregor. I helped. Right. And you what? won against you won against Gregor. Yeah. Yeah. He was cool. I liked him. He Tough threw me. Like yeah. he threw me. <clears throat> Trust me, he looks a lot tougher in certain circumstances. Alright, come on. I'll get you right, back right. up top. Cheers. So you all make your way back to the surface, uh, and you're met there at the at the garrison gates. We get off and go, shit. Where's our friends? <laughs> yeah, no one's there waiting for you at the gates uh, as they lead you out of the garrison. Oh uh, yeah, your friends are uh, staying at the Polish Shield. Told you that's where you could find them. Told oh. us to tell you. Cool. Oh. Hey, thanks. Just here in the distance. Um, nom nom nom. <laughs> Just. <laughs> Follow our ears. Walker, walker, walker. Uh, he gives you directions. You start making your way over there. It's. Um, I'll leave it up to the other three. Are you? Are you all in bed? Because uh, it's getting towards midnight um, by the time they finally show up. So yeah. where do you How think you three food? would be? How much food is on a special? Uh, it's a good amount of uh, like just like. A nice uh, mashed potatoes, some bread, some like very well baked bread, uh, and some whatever meat they had on hand. I think today uh, there was <laughs> chicken. 
and I had three of those. Mm -hmm. How long were they fighting? Uh, between travel, <laughs> fights, uh, and then getting to you, it's probably been a couple hours. Oh yeah, we've I've eaten. You're in bed. Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> you all arrive at the inn. No sign of your friends. Most people aren't. Uh, it's probably like ten at night, maybe eleven even. Uh, so not many. <laughs> there's only like a few stragglers getting really drunk at the bar. I go Most up to the bartender. To I'm gonna need one of your strongest drinks and some information. Oh, what happened to you? Uh, under city. Yeah, we uh, we fought some people. <laughs> oh. I'm Just, sorry, uh, it's not quite prim and proper for this fine establishment, but... Yeah, let me go get you something to clean up with, uh, and I'll, I'll get you something nice. Um, so he, he walks over, gets like... Walks over through a door, comes back, and he has like a, a bucket of water and a, and a washcloth hanging over it. Uh, sets it down the counter... You could just take it outside. I'll have your drink ready when you come back. That's a good call. Um, so us three, we came here with a small tiefling, a slightly taller tiefling, and, and a very, very vertically uninclined rabbit dragon. Just hear up in the distance. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, the little furry thing with a really long tail, kind of pinkish red. Very red, yeah. Probably ate you out of house at home. Oh, yep. Okay, I know what you're talking about. Um, <laughs> See, Odie, yeah. you just gotta know how to talk to people. Uh -uh. Um, <laughs> right, all right, I was Odie. doing fine, thanks. <laughs> Are you... Do you need rooms as well, or... They Probably gonna three. room up with them. Yeah, they got three rooms, that's perfect. Okay. That's our usual um, arrangement. Well, they're What at, rooms uh, are they in? Uh, five, six, and seven. It's up okay. the stairs. Um... Uh, sock, whatever Kayla is doing. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, up the stairs, five, six, and seven. Um, you go wash off. Uh, do the rest of you want drinks as well? Uh, you know, weirdly, no. I'm okay. I'm just gonna go take a nap. He's kind of punchy, bloody too, but he doesn't. He's just like fucking wearing it with pride. Uh, all right. Uh, I will be right back with your milk and, uh, do you want a shot or a mug? I'm gonna take a mug of whatever you're gonna put in that shot. Can I Very well. get a shot of what you're gonna put in his mug? <laughs> <laughs> How about I just bring you the bottle of shot glass and a mug? I just and want one shot. I just want a nightcap. I'm gonna go lie down. Just a little... Yeah, that... Just, peanut, take a shot, and then fill my drink, and then go to bed. Yeah, All right, uh, the whole bottle will run you about a gold if you want something pretty good. Pretty good? You got something really good? I got something very good. That'll run you two gold. Take two gold. I'll chip it on that one, actually. <laughs> okay. Uh, he walks to the shelf and picks up a very nice glass bottle with a, with a cork stopper um, in it. Uh, there's actually uh, leaf gold around the neck. Oh, uh, it's kind of a little filigree. Uh, plops it down. The good stuff. Uh, the good stuff. That is some mirror ball, uh, mirror bar polish for you. Uh, interesting type of whiskey that's made here in town. Uh, reaches under the counter, pulls out a mug and a shot glass. Have fun. I put another five silver on the counter. That's for you. I would, uh, it, can I get a little, little bit bigger glass now that I know it's good shit? <clears throat> <laughs> he just reaches on the counter and pulls out another mug. <laughs> you are awesome, <laughs> Odie. I go because because I'm like I'm, you know I'm down like Odie load it up. <laughs> I'm outside cleaning oh, myself. Yeah. <laughs> Can you? I I mean come on I'm down here. <laughs> and then he brings over a glass of milk for Old Mick. Thank you. I'm gonna. How much? It's fine. They I'm pretty sure they just paid my weekly wage. <laughs> Gonna take my mug. I'm gonna go find where Rune's sleeping. Ah. Uh, just, just knock. Just knock on five, six, and seven. No, I'm not run, gonna knock. I'm just gonna like run, open up and go. Run. Nope. 
That's that's Zyra. The, well, you don't have the key, do you? <laughs> Depends on if it's locked or not. Did you lock your doors? I did. You'd have to I'm pretty sure door. Rune locked his door. <laughs> Siren locked her door. Damn it. Rune did not. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, interesting. <laughs> Fighting Rune's room. Got a hoblot in there. And then just like, huh, right on the stomach. <laughs> kind of like what Brooklyn's doing right now. <laughs> <laughs> Lime, lime, lime. Is that necessary? You want some whiskey? Yeah, after that. Okay, here you go. <laughs> I go back in after having cleaned my face off from all the invisible blood <laughs> that just... isn't trusted. <laughs> <laughs> um, you look over at about half the bottles left and a mug sitting there. Why the fuck do I... Barman... To keep this, I don't want to dirty it. <laughs> just give it back to Mario. Just... Oh, that's one way to do it. Um, okay, is there anything anyone else wants to do before everyone finds the rooms and beds down for the night? Share the whiskey and pass the fuck throws. <laughs> So what rooms are you guys staying in then? The usual. Ah, her door's locked. Yes, the doors are locked other than one. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I, I yowl. <laughs> Start headbutting the door. <laughs> Wait. The first time I was used to it, halfway go, open the door, wait for him to get in, to close the door, lock it, boom, right back on the bed. <laughs> Cries to go back out. <laughs> Immediate. <laughs> so I looked at five where... The you know, Rune and Peanut probably are. I look at six. <laughs> I look at six that just close with Olmec going into it. I'm just like, well, seven's my option. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll try and open the door. I'll take my fucking thieves tools. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, roll, uh, roll proficiency plus dexterity. <laughs> that lock is fucked. Okay, let's see. <laughs> we got 22. <laughs> 22. You like whip out your thieves tools, kind of jingle it a little bit and you click and walk in. <laughs> I close the door, Bible. lock it. <laughs> Quiet are you being? Not really. I know it's you on the other end. But does Eridol know it's you? No, I don't care. Rolled a one, so I don't really give a shit. Apparently, <laughs> <laughs> roll over. No, oh, the dwarf. Yeah, maybe I'll get lucky in the morning. <laughs> the hell you will. <laughs> he is not my type. He is nor a dragon nor fluffy. <laughs> All you see I is fucking it, changeling into a fluffy funny. dragon. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Mm, get fucked tonight, boy. <laughs> oh my god! Congratulations, you have the title to your video. <laughs> no, the fuck, I don't. <laughs> I actually just changed Link back into my Outlin form, and I just find a spot on the ground. Just... Okay. Uh, um, so you all find sleep think we're going to end it there for the night that's a good stopping point is that a long unless rest there was anything now? anyone wanted to do immediately long rest long rest yes you all get a long, long rest. rest so we are going to end it there for the night to anyone watching thank you anyone listening thank you, thank you. what she said thank, I said you. thank you oh thank you uh, yes, to anyone watching or listening, thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, we hope to see you next time. Um, once again, links down in the doobly-doo. Uh, doobly-doo! Won't have metallurgy tomorrow, uh, but we will ah. have Pez plays. Pe uh, Pez, you got anything planned? Games. Games! <laughs> Thanks nice. for the update. <laughs> yeah! Uh, once again, join us on Discord. 
Link's down in the doobly-doo. Uh, we doobly play a lot of games and act like morons, uh, but we have a lot of fun. Uh, until next time, have fun, have a good night, evening, or morning, wherever you are, and... Uh, have a day. Have a day. Or have night. A day. Have a day, night. Day, night. Goodbye, Goodbye everybody! <laughs> Goodbye! <laughs> <laughs>